everybody and welcome to lens crafts i'm gonna share today a um, a bracelet i'm actually gonna do it this time and i'm starting out with just a small ball of black primo all right i'm gonna roll this to get it a little smoother all right then i'm gonna just squeeze it a bit to make it a more oval shape And I'm going to flatten it. Again, I'm just using the ball part of my hand. I want a little bit more of a, um, not so much an egg shape, but an elliptical shape like that. All right, I'm going to carve a scarab. And um, I was requested to show this, and I know I've shown it before in other videos, but not ones that um, were easily searchable, so... I've got my favorite tool, my metal knitting needle. Um, a toothpick will work. I'm sure you have something in your supplies that will work. All right, I'm going to start by going around the edge. Just up from the bottom. Not sure if you can see that, but... That gives it a bit of definition from top to bottom. Alright, now I'm going to divide it into three sections. The first section will be sort of close to the top. I'm going to indent it just a bit more. Alright. Now, the second section, I'm going to give it a little bit more of an angle. Something like that. Alright, now I'm going to switch to my ball tool for just a minute. And just define that line a little bit more. Alright. Now I'm going to go down the middle here. And this time, I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom. Alright, where it stops right here, I'm going to make a V. Alright, 
All right, you can see how it's already starting to take a scarab-like shape. All right. Now, if you look at Egyptian scarabs, the wing casings actually will have a little V right along here somewhere. All right. Now, at this point, you can choose to either add lines to the shell casings or not. I may decide that in a bit. All right, right here at the face part, we're going to give it a wider V shape, but not closed at the bottom. Something like that. All right. All right, and then each section to the side, we're going to add another line. All right, and then here in the middle, We're just going to add two lines that don't go all the way to the top. All right, that's pretty much a scarab shape. There are other things you can add. You could add a little bit of texture to the body section here. And like I said, you can add lines to the, the wing casings. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to add a little bit of texture just using my ball tool. Then we can add some lines to the wing casing. All right, something like that. Now we're just going to bake this 275 for an hour. But before I bake it, ignore ignore the logo. I'm going to give it a bit of shape so that it will lay it so that it will lay right on the bracelet just a bit to the sides all right now bake all right while that's in the oven baking i'm gonna use some of the last of my gold primo I will need to be ordering some more. Alright, and I'm just going to condition this and then roll it out on a four. 
I'm going to get a long, thin piece. All right. Now, admittedly, this is thinner, uh, narrower than I want. But I'm going to roll it out with this texture sheet that is... Okay, the label's already come off. This is, um, I believe, Hieroglyph is the name of the texture stamp, and it's from Cool Tools. If you have not purchased from Cool Tools, you should really go check out their stuff. They have a lot of neat, neat stuff. All right. Normally, I would roll this with the clay down and the texture sheet on top. That would allow the clay to expand its width just a bit as I rolled it. But I also want a deep texture. So I'm going to attempt to roll it from the clay side. I may have to start all over and do it the way I want to do it, but you're going to want to put a lot of pressure and it's going to stick to the roller. All right, that really didn't give me that good of an impression, but where it didn't was in the middle. So I'm all right with that. All right, now the next step will just be to get it off the roller. So I'm going to start on the flatter side. It's one of the things I love about Primo is the stickiness of it. It often works to my advantage. All right, now you can see how really pretty that texture is. I'll hold it up so you can see it a little better. All right. Now, your first instinct is going to be to want to cut these raw, raw edges off. I don't like to cut them off. <laughs> I like to let them be part of the design of the bracelet. Um, don't worry that they're not conditioned enough or anything like that. They've gone through the pasta machine as many times as the rest of the sheet has. So they are just as conditioned as the rest of it is. Now, of course, if you have some really... Um, raw bits that are about to tear off you'll want to go ahead and tear them off the only part let me see let me get my craft out the only part is right here where it's just a little wider so I'm just going to All right, work with it and give it a bit of a jagged edge there. All right, after the scarab finishes baking, I will make a bezel for the scarab to sit in here in the middle. And then we'll form it around the can again. Um, I'm not going to worry about this, this end yet until the scarab is done and I place it on the bracelet all right so i'll be back all right now i've rolled out a little extra strip to serve as the bezel i'm just gonna cut off the bottom half Right, and again, I'm going to leave the top raw edge of the clay. I'm 
just going to give it a general little fit. If I can. Alright, again, I'm going to cut it at an angle. Then wrap it around. And cut the other end at the same angle. Alright, so that way you get a nice join. In theory. <laughs> I'm trying not to use any bacon bond or anything. For no particular reason. I'm obviously going to have to add some under the scarab before I decide to glue it down. Alright, now I need to cut this end off. And what I'm actually going to do is turn my blade over, blade edge up, and just give it a little score. Just so i got an idea of where to cut. And then again, I'm going to kind of give it a jagged edge the best I can. just wrapped it around the can this is a 16 ounce can which may or may not be too big or too small for your wrist but it happens to be perfect for mine all right now making sure that the hieroglyph is the right way up and that the scarab is the right way up because trust me I've made this mistake before not on a bracelet but on a box I did all right then just checking to make sure it's straight Now, I'm just going to go around and make sure that the bezel edge touches the bracelet all the way around. Then, if you want, you can go around and just give it a bit of a press down. All the way around. Alright. good all right now once again I'm just gonna bake this 
We're again at 275 for another hour. Alright, here it is out of the oven. And to get it off, you just literally just pop it loose. And it will pop right off the can. Alright. Alright, and as you can see, you've got a really flexible bracelet. And you could actually wear it just like this. But what I've done is rolled out another sheet of the Primo Black with the same texture sheet. And I'm going to line the inside of the bracelet. Alright. So just using a bit of bacon bond. I'm just going to add a bit to the inside of the bracelet. Alright, now I'm just going to place it back in the oven. This time I've just wrapped a toilet paper tube with some aluminum foil. And it's not going to really do anything but to help support the bracelet while it bakes. Alright. So, back in the oven again for an hour at 275. Alright, here it is out of the oven. Now, as you can see, it's flexible, which you want. Especially in a cuff bracelet. That is what's going to allow you to slip it on your wrist. Alright. But for the next step, and for all you purists out there that don't believe in painting on polymer clay, you might want to turn away for this part. Because <laughs> I'm going to paint on it. I'm going to do the same technique on this scarab that I did before using the alcohol ink on top of acrylic paint. So again I'm just going to use this DecoArt Dazzling Metallic in the Champagne Gold. I love this color because it's got a lot of reflective qualities. And so the alcohol ink will really sparkle on top. Alright, so I'm just going to put a couple of coats directly onto the scarab. Alright, I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, this time I'm going to be using the Sailboat Blue and the Lettuce, the Citrus. Sorry about that. And I'm going to spray it first with a little bit of alcohol. As suggested by my dear friend and supporter, Tammy, Tamara. Alright, so first I'm going to start with the Sailboat Blue. Which drips rather heavily. Then I'm going to go with the citrus. I'm not really looking for it to completely cover. looking for the colors to kind of blend together a bit. Alright, now as you can see it is starting to leak out a bit underneath the bezel and around the edges a bit, but I'm not concerned with any of that. I'm going to paint over it. <laughs> 
it's only because I really am not fond of the um, the gold color that the Primo Gold comes in. It's not that I'm not fond of the color. I'm not fond of the metallic-ness or less of it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to let that dry a bit and probably heat set it with my heat tool. And then I'll be back. All right. Just checking the color, see if I'm happy with it yet. I really feel like it needs just a bit more. Right there. Right, before I start getting a lot of comments on how to use alcohol ink, I'm fully aware that spraying alcohol ink first will cause the alcohol inks to disperse a bit more. You can also spray on the alcohol afterwards to get a kind of resist effect. Where the alcohol lands, it will push the alcohol inks away. Alright, that being said, now I'm going to paint the, the gold part of the bracelet. I already did the um, black part in a black pearl dazzling metallic. I'm going to do the band in this emperor's gold dazzling metallic, which is very close to the color it already is, but it's much more metallic. Alright, you can see I've already done around the edge of the bezel best I could. I did go along with a paintbrush with some alcohol to clean up that little bit of runoff that I had. Now I'm going to start to cut in, which is a term house painters use. I'm going to start with just the edges. And the edge that way when I paint the rest I don't have to be as careful around those areas all right so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start by just cutting in all right so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back all right here it is I've coated the middle section with the Emperor's Gold paint. I really love the way it looks. Like I said, it's so close to the color of the um, Primo Accents Gold, but it just has a more metallic shine. Then I added just a little bit of blue and green um, acrylic paint on top of the Black Pearl just to give it a sort of a match. Alright, now I'm just going to do a bit of antiquing with some black deco art Americana paint and this is the lamp black. And literally just a drop mixed with a bit of water. And get the water to come out. Now I want it pretty liquidy. Okay, I did go ahead and um, Put a sealer on the um, stone and on the mm -hmm, 
the blue green part just so that the black wouldn't really cover it just in case I got some on there all right so all I'm gonna do is brush it on and wipe it off If you get a little too much left behind, just give it a squirt or squirt your cloth. Alright, you can see that's all I want is just to bring out a little of those details all right so down here i feel like it needs just a bit more Alright, so I'll just continue this on around until I get done. I'm also going to go around the bezel just a little bit. Even though it won't really show, I just want it to match. Sorry. All right, now here's the finished piece. As you can see, it um, brought out the detail and also toned down that really bright gold color just a touch, just enough to let the center stone stand out. So there it is, our completed Egyptian inspired cuff bracelet. Alright, thank you so much for watching. As always, all of my links are down in the description box. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.